Alright guys, so today I have my March Ipsy bag to unbox, unbag, however you want to call it. Uh, so we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, I love watching Ipsy unbaggings because I think it's so much fun to see what everyone gets. Um, Ipsy is $10 a month and it's like custom made for you, which is why you will get different things from other people. So you can go on there when you make your profile and you'll tell them um, your skin tone, uh, your favorite shades, things like that. So that way you get everything that you know you're going to like and use. So that's one of the reasons I love Ipsy so much. So let's start off with what the bag looks like you everyone does get the same bag um and it is actually made of a coloring kind of uh, canvas material so you can color this if you want to or you can just leave it as it is um <laughs> I think it would be really funny and kind of creepy to like draw faces on the um, faces there. But this is what it looks like when you open it up and have some goodies inside. And I also have some goodies that didn't fit in the bag. So I'll just start with the card here. This is, like I said, from March. And this is the Create bag. So create as in, you know, color in your makeup bag. And they do give you, they supply you with two markers, a pink and a blue is what I got. I don't know if everyone got the same colors or not, uh, but those are the colors that I did receive. So let's just get into the goodies. So the first thing that I see is called Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. And this is a baked highlighter. So it comes in a box like this. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Here's the packaging. And the shade of this is called Bellini. And it appears to be just a very baby pink color. So I am going to give this a swatch here so you guys can see a little better. Hopefully you can see that on my skin tone. Uh, but it does seem to be very pretty, just a light pink shade. So I mean, essentially like, I think you could probably even use that as like an eyeshadow or something. And since it's baked, um, it might even be a little better used wet. That seems to be the case when um, products are baked. They sometimes um, just have a stronger pigmentation if you wet them. So next we got a lipstick and this is by a brand called Mellow Cosmetics. Mellow Cosmetics. That's what the packaging looks like. This is sealed, so we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. The shade is called Nude. Oh my goodness, that was a complete fail. Complete fail. I went to open it up and like the lipstick part just completely fell out of the packaging. Okay, so <laughs> this part, I don't know if I can, yeah, I can't take it out now because I tightened it, but this part with the gold, you know, where like the actual lipstick comes out of must have came loose um, in transit. So the whole thing fell out, but um, the lipstick is fine. Oh, that is so cool. On the, um, on the actual lipstick, can you guys see that? It's engraved mellow there. So this is nude. It's a bit, it seems like a bit dark for a nude. Um, it's almost to me like a berry color. That's what it looks like swatched right there. It seems a tad dark, but we'll try it out. Um, the packaging's pretty sleek though. I do like that. Next we got a glossier universal skin salve. And this is in rosebalm.com. So skin salve. It doesn't say exactly um, 
how to use it, which to use it for. Um, typically with a skin salve, I would think you'd put that on like dry, cracked bits on like your hands and stuff. But like I want to use this as a lip balm. I'm assuming you can use it as a lip balm. I detect, let me get a little bit out here. Yeah, this is a very, very like thick. You aren't gonna see anything swatching it. It is clear. It definitely has a rose scent to it, which I like, um, and it's just very thick. So I think this, you know, you'd be able to use it as a lip balm, especially if your lips are like super dry and chapped. But I think you can probably use it um, just for any kind of dry, um, cracked places on like your hands and stuff like that since it does say it's a universal skin salve. So probably a multi-use as far as that goes. And then the last thing that was in my bag was this makeup brush and this is so pretty. This is by a company called Moda and it looks like a freaking gorgeous like mermaid the handle has this like ombre and it's got like a really cool texture almost like a mermaid tail and it is a fan brush and even the brush head is multicolored just a beautiful like aqua with purple and it's super duper soft that's really nice so oh my gosh i love that i just think that's gorgeous Super gorgeous. Um, and then I did get two products that I cashed in some Ipsy points. If you guys are not aware, um, when you do have an Ipsy account, if you review your bag just online, like give it how many stars each piece in your bag, um, you get points for it. And then with those points, um, they have a little like shopping section where you can um, cash in your points for Ipsy products. So I cashed in some points uh, for Ipsy. And the first thing I got, this is so stinking cute. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's some sort of snail cream. So it's going to be like for your face. But I just died over the packaging. I hope you guys can see this okay. But it looks, it actually is in a little pot that looks like a snail. I am a sucker for packaging cute packaging I just love it like I will pay more for stuff just because of the packaging that's just the kind of person I am um there isn't a whole lot of product in the actual pot itself um and it's definitely probably made with some sort of snail based snail goo I I don't know exactly what what that stuff is that like you know is made with like snail um I guess just so whatever they secrete kind of thing must be good for your skin. Uh, but yes, I just died over the packaging of this and had to have it to try out. And then I also got another brush that I used for points. And this is the Farah Foundation Brush 20F. And I just, I, I loved, absolutely loved the color of this. It's got a purple handle just the gold here and then the purple brush part and it's super soft. I love getting makeup brushes and I don't care if my makeup brushes don't match. They don't need to match in my opinion. I just, I like, makeup brushes is like something I like to collect, I guess you'd say. So I'm excited to try out that one. So that is everything that I got for my March Ipsy bag. Um, like I said, these, these two products I cashed in points for, so they weren't actually a part of my March Ipsy bag. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You'll have to let me know down below if you received anything similar and what you thought of um, your Ipsy bag that you received if you did get one. And if you did not get one, I do have a um, link down below where you can sign up for Ipsy if you are interested. I definitely love it. It's one of my, I did have the Sephora Play. I wasn't really impressed with it, so I canceled my subscription to Sephora Play or Play by Sephora. I always just call it Sephora Play uh, because Ipsy just gets me more excited. And I love the fact that 
um, you can use points to get um, other goodies as well. And it's super easy to get points when you review uh, your products. And by review, it's simply clicking on like a star, like what star you'd give each thing. Like I would probably give this five stars. So you'd get points for that. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things I look forward to receiving every month. It's just like, I haven't been disappointed yet. Um, I am still fairly new to Ipsy, but so far I'm just really, really loving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.